Coach McCoy, first year here, going into year two. Uh, the bar is extremely high now. I mean, you kind of came in here and really, you guys had an unbelievable NCAA tournament. You had four qualifiers, three of the four qualifiers, all Americans. Okay, put you guys in the 10th place at 47 and a half points, I believe. Yep, yep. Pretty, uh, a good showing. How do you follow up, you know, how do you avoid the sophomore slump as, as a coach? <laughs> uh, we don't even think about it. You know, our goal is to get better every day, get better every day, get better every year. And um, with the team that we have coming back, we only lost one senior from this year's team. And um, we've got everybody coming back, all of our All-Americans coming back, all of our conference champs coming back. We've got two conference champs that redshirted last year, Mike Letts and John Kohler. They're coming back. Um, obviously, Hudson Taylor, Steve Bell, Alex Crom, Brendan Byrne, they all have eligibility. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff coming back here. So the idea is not to – 2009 is over. We can't – no one will take that away from us, but we can't rest on that. So our goal is to be the best that we can be and always moving forward. So as long as we're working to move forward, working to get better, you know, it doesn't. We don't. We don't have to worry about what ifs and all that stuff. We're gonna go out there and do our best. On paper, as you just stated, all the guys that are coming back, you, you kind of held some guys on the shelf. 141 would be an example where you had an ACC champ, then an All-American, uh, two guys. Yeah, um, yeah. On paper, your your team's better next year. Okay, do you? Kind of tell the guys, hey, you know, we, we can be in the top ten. We need to be higher. Or how do you approach that to the guys? Well, you know, one of the, the first things that, that I told the guys when I came in here is that the reason I'm here is for an opportunity to win a national championship. You know, that's the ultimate goal. That's why we do what we do. So the guys know what the expectation level is. Um, individually, they want to win national championship. As a team, we want to win national championship. So that's the ultimate prize. That's what we wake up for every day. So we don't have to tell them that the goal is to try and be the, on the top tier and get that, that, that gold statue at the end of the season. So they understand it, you know, but the most important thing is you got to keep them focused on is working every day to get to that point. They work every day to do the things that we've trained them to do and they do the things they know they can do, then, you know, the winning and losing is going to take care of itself. So the goal is to just stay focused, work hard, get better every day, and then, um, you know, they all know what we're trying to do. So we tell them, hey, national championship caliber program is what we have here, but it's the national championship caliber work ethic that's going to make a difference. If we have that, the other stuff will come with it. Are there things you're changing with maybe the staff or maybe trying to bring more guys in who are training? Is there anything like that you're going to change to take you to that next level next year? Um, you know, the biggest thing for us is just to keep our guys with that focus. You know, I mean, you can have a million coaches in the room, you can have one coach in the room. If the guys don't have the right attitude and right, the right focus, it's not going to make a difference. So we're going to make a few adjustments in our training. You know, we're going to add a few things and, and, and make sure that these guys are not missing any areas that we feel are important. But ultimately, you know, we, we've got a good system, we've got a good staff, we've got good things working. Um, you know, it's a situation where the guys were able to get to the point where they believed in themselves, they knew they could compete at the highest level. Last year they proved that they can do it. Now it's to just get one step higher and continue to get better. So we're just focusing on making sure that we get the most out of these guys and they get the most out of themselves. So, you know, we can come in and we can put up a bunch more cameras, we can throw a, much, a few more training machines in. All that stuff is going to help, but ultimately it's all about attitude and focus. And if we keep pushing that with our guys, it's, um, it's going to all happen the way we need it to be. Okay, you guys were 19th when you were at Stanford. You come here in your first year, you're 10th. What's so much different, or is there anything really different about Stanford as compared to Maryland? Um, you know, it's a little bit, a couple different things. You know, obviously administrative support-wise, we had a lot of support at Stanford. Um, you know, my last few months on the job, Bob Bolsey was the AD there, and uh, wrestling guy, being at Iowa for all those years. Our sports supervisor and the other administration there, they were really supportive of the program. You know, we had some, some tough challenges there. Here we've got great support. Dr. Debbie Yao is a great person. She's a, a huge supporter of wrestling, hugely behind the uh, change in the NCAA qualification structure. So, you know, as a former women's basketball coach, to be so dedicated to the sport of wrestling, just truly shows, it truly shows that she is committed to the sport. Um, the guys on the team are all committed to being the best they can be. Uh, the community, it's a great community for wrestling. It's a great area for wrestling. We can pull guys from all over the country, really hit the New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Maryland, Virginia, you know, in our regional area. So we just have a lot of things that are, you know, I wouldn't say uh, 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 a whole lot better, but just different in the sense of it's a different area, different focus, and um, we're able to take advantage of things here that I wasn't able to take advantage of out there. You know, school is, is challenging, but, you know, admissions process is not as challenging as it was out there at Stanford, so we are able to recruit a little bit more. And then funding-wise, you know, at Stanford we didn't have a full complement of scholarships here. We do have the full 9.9. .9. Uh, funding for the coaches, uh, salary-wise, we're, we're doing well salary-wise, so we're able to pay our coaches. We've got a club structure similar to what we had out there, but now we're able to pull in a few more guys, three or four guys that we can help support here. 
Um, so, you know, a lot of things that we had in place there here, it's just kind of a little bit a higher level, um, being a, where we are and, and a little bit more of the tradition of the program. There's one thing you could tell a student athlete, a prospective student athlete, about Maryland wrestling and what you're doing, what your staff's doing, what your guys are doing. What would, what would you want them to know or what would you tell them? You know, we work hard, we have fun, and uh, we, got, we want to get the job done. I think the biggest thing with us is you look at what we bring to the table, and in my experience as a coach with the international and collegiate success that I've had, the other members of our staff and the wrestlers, I mean, you bring it from Husband Taylor, who's an interactive performance art major, you bring it down to some of our other guys that are into business, some guys are in engineering, some guys are in criminal justice. You know, we've got a wide variety of offerings, a wide variety of pursuits um, with our staff. We're all hands-on. We're wrestling with the guys as much as possible. Technically, we're always on the cutting edge of technology, always on the cu cutting edge of technique, always on the cutting edge of training methods. So we're always, you know, we have a solid foundation. We're always looking to make things better. And every day we get better, every day we work harder. And that's really what it's all about is working to get your best out of yourself and working to do all the things you can to make yourself the best wrestler or best person that you can. Ultimately, with all that stuff under the umbrella of getting a good degree and being able to be successful later. And that's what we're all about here. I think the biggest difference between Maryland and some of the other places is it's one of the few places athletically that you can combine big-time Olympic sports with big-time revenue sports. We've got a football team that's consistently in bowl games. We've got women's, women's and men's basketball that have played and won national championships. We've got Olympic sports. Men's soccer has won two national championships in the last few years. Women's field hockey has won three out of the last four. Women's lacrosse has won tons of championships. Men's lacrosse has won a bunch. You know, we've got just these programs that are successful, so not only are you going to be able to have an opportunity to have a great academic experience, but athletically on our team as well as interacting with the other students. So it's really one of the places where you can have it all and, you know, get the mix of best of both worlds, and that's what makes it special here. All right, Coach. Thanks for the time today, man. Yeah. I, I know you got a busy day and you got a lot going on right now, yeah, so uh, yeah. I'll let you get up out of here, and I really appreciate the time. Well, thank you, Zeb. I'm glad you made it here. All right, man.